In August 2022, in a desert about 50 kilometers east of Cairo, the capital of Egypt in northern Africa, under the scorching sun, many towering buildings loomed in the yellow sand. Before 2019, it was all desert. In less than four years, China built 20 tall buildings here. This project covers a total area of about 505,000 square meters, including 20 high-rise buildings and supporting municipal projects. Yes. Egypt is going to relocate to its new capital. In the first quarter of 2023, the CBD center of NAC, the new capital of Egypt, the tallest building in Africa, will be officially opened. Among the entire central business district project, the most striking thing is that it will soon become the tallest building in Africa. The high-rise iconic tower project, the height of the main structure of the symbol tower is 373.2 meters, and the highest point of the tower crown is 385.8 meters. A local engineer in Egypt said, during the work of the iconic tower project, I learned many advanced technologies for building skyscrapers in the desert from the Chinese construction team. I am very proud to be able to participate in the construction of this project. So how advanced is Chinese civil engineering technology that Egyptian engineers are so excited about it? Of course, China's speed is always refreshing. The construction team of the iconic tower was able to complete the construction of one floor every four days by applying the climbing technology. The external jib tower crane can lift all kinds of construction materials to the top of the iconic tower. In addition, during the construction period of the project, Chinese companies hired a large number of Egyptian workers and used local products mostly, directly or indirectly driving the employment of more than 30,000 people and driving the development of the Egyptian construction industry. After the project completes at the end of next year, the skilled workers and local engineers trained by this project will continue to play a greater role in the construction of Egypt. Therefore, in addition to helping Egypt's infrastructure construction and driving the country's economic development, the Central Business District project has also enhanced the mutual exchanges between the people of the two countries and deepened their understanding of each other's countries. So, why did Egypt choose China? How is the construction progress of the new capital? Will it become a new world wonder? Okay, that and more is exactly what we are going to talk about. Let's get started. The Egyptian president is ambitious and has many expectations for the new capital. He wants the city to accommodate 7 million Egyptians when it is completed. Not only will the largest mosques and churches in Egypt be built, but hospitals, schools, government offices, etc. will also be rebuilt. Yet despite the Egyptians' eagerness to do so, and the high amount of money that was put aside to start the project, it was very difficult to build such a grand capital with the Egyptians' infrastructure construction capacity. So they turned to China for help. First, a short introduction about the project China built. Capping of 20 buildings of the CBD project in the new administrative capital city in Egypt was completed on May 18, lifting the curtain on decoration and mechanical and electrical installation. It is expected that the entire project will be completed by the end of next year. Covering about 505,000 square meters, the project is the largest of its kind ever contracted by Chinese enterprises in Egypt. The project includes 20 single buildings, 10 high-rise commercial office buildings, 5 high-rise apartments, 4 upscale hotels and an iconic 385.8-meter tower, the tallest of its kind in Africa. During construction of the tower, China State Construction Engineering Corporation, the contractor, set an African speed record for concreting the super-large raft foundation and constructing the core walls and steel structure. The D01 residential building of the P2 and P6 section of the project is 196 meters high, the tallest residential building in Africa. Fully automatic and smart settings can be seen in the residential area everywhere, such as the automatic control of the road lamps and automatic treatment of domestic wastes. The building is also equipped with a smart central control system integrating security and protection, fire alarms and access control subsystems, making it both green and smart. Once operational, the project will be the first world-level CBD in Egypt and is expected to drive development of the Suez Canal and Red Sea economic zones in the country. 
So, why did Egypt choose China? It is precisely because of seeing the huge business opportunities and future potential of this construction project that the United States, Japan, Germany and other countries have sent applications to Egypt for cooperation. Unexpectedly, they were all rejected by Egypt one by one. And Egypt has made it clear that the project can only be built with Chinese help. And in 2015, China State Construction Engineering Corporation formally signed a relevant agreement with Egypt. In this regard, some countries said that Egypt's move is intended to win over China. In fact, Egypt's choice has nothing to do with politics. In short, this is a very sensible and rational choice. Because in recent years, China's investment in infrastructure has far exceeded that of other countries in the world. In addition, the super projects completed in China always put quality first, as evidenced by projects such as the Three Gorges Hydropower Station, the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, and the China Railway. Starting from the start of construction on May 2, 2018, it took less than three years to complete the capping of the main project. After entering the standard layer, the first layer can be completed in basically four days, and even the fastest time can be completed in about 100 hours. China once again proved to the world what China's speed is. Besides, why did Egypt spending so much money to build a new capital? As the capital of Egypt, Cairo spans the Nile River. It is the most important commercial center in the entire Middle East. It is also the largest city in Africa and the Middle East, known as the mother of cities in Egypt. However, behind the prosperity of Cairo has also brought many problems, the biggest of which is that the urban population has grown rapidly and the population density is too high. Cairo's population has been skyrocketing since the 1960s, growing from around 3.5 million to more than 22 million today. At this rate of population growth, Cairo's population is likely to exceed 40 million by around 2050. In the face of rapid population growth, Cairo's area of more than 3,000 square kilometers is under unprecedented pressure. The city is dirty, traffic jams are severe, and many people can only squeeze into dilapidated houses and shanty towns. According to statistics, nearly 10 million people in Cairo are living in illegal buildings, and as the city's population density increases, people even live in the cemetery and historical sites in the city center. It is also based on the current situation in Cairo that the Egyptian government also realized that if the city does not expand, it is likely to cause the paralysis of the urban balance system. In 2015, the Egyptian government made up its mind to spend $45 billion to rebuild a new capital. Although since the outbreak of the COVID-19, the construction speed of Egypt's new capital has slowed down for a time. However, the Chinese construction team still overfulfilled the task and strive to complete the construction as quickly as possible. In any case, this city that symbolizes friendship will eventually be built. This is another testimony of the strength of China's infrastructure, and it is also a symbol of friendship between the hard-working and intelligent people of the two countries. Well, thanks for listening. If you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments section. We'll come back as soon as possible and check them, and then we'll give feedback. See you next time.